Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to create a student account with the code that your teacher uh, would have given you. This does not, this code does not come in the welcome email, so you may need to ask your teacher for it if she has not or he has not given it to you. So you're going to go here to freshgrade.com. I'm just here on my laptop. You can also do this on a mobile device and it'll take you right to the place that you need to be. But I'm just going to show you online because this one took me a second to figure out. So I'm going to go here to login. That part is clear. Choose students. Okay, it takes you here to this page assuming you already have an account. And you need to click back. And then it is going to show you the place where you're going to put in that access code that your teacher gave to you. So I'm going to put in that access code and I'm going to view the portfolio. Okay, so this is what I see the very first time that I sign in. This is Funny Man Philip's account and I want to set up his account. So I'm going to go over here to create account and I am going to put in some details for this child. Okay, I'm going to set it up as though this child does not have an email. If you have an email, uh, then feel, feel free to put it in because notifications are gonna come to your email address. So that would be handy if it's an email address that you check. Okay, and we'll click next. Okay, so then it shows you what your username is. You cannot change your username. That is assigned to you by FreshGrade. You can choose your own password, so choose something that you're going to remember. And my recommendation is that you write this down in a private but safe place. Uh, your teacher can give you your password or help you uh, recreate your password. Um, and, and view these details, but it would be best if you keep that in a safe place for yourself to take responsibility for that. So we click create account. And now from here, we can view the portfolio. So over here at menu, it will shove everything over. If Funny Man Phelps was enrolled in more than one class, it would show up as another class down here. Okay, so he's only in one class and we are just going to, um, to leave that as that. So the student can email the teacher directly uh, if say they have a question about something. They could also add this, uh, use this add new feature and that would notify the teacher that something was there as well. So you have two options for getting in touch with your teacher within fresh grade. Uh, you also can comment on any of the marks or assignments that have been put up and you can also upload things like a picture or a scan or a video, a document, anything like that you can upload from there. Uh, so there's portfolio, there's report cards, and there's announcements down here at the bottom. And if I click on announcement, it shows without even clicking on it, it shows me that I have one announcement here. So then if I click on announcement, it's going to show, it's going to say read more. So it's not enough that you just click on it. You haven't read the whole message yet, okay? You have to then click on that blue text, first group hangout September 10th, okay? And then it's going to show me um, what the actual announcement was. Make sure you read it thoroughly and your teacher will be able to tell in their account whether or not you've actually read it, okay? So if we want to return to the profile, we can just go down here to portfolio, and that takes us back there to that home view of your portfolio, okay? Uh, if there is a report card and your teacher is using that feature, you could click on report cards. There's none available for Funny Man Phelps right now, but if there were, that's where you would go to see them. And again, I can just navigate back to the home page there with, uh, with the portfolio view. Okay, so that's the very basics of just how to set up your account, and I will do a second video on how to upload samples and interact with those samples.